This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitau. The first batch of presidential ballot papers are set to arrive on Wednesday following a big clash between the key state agencies on the integrity of August 9 polls. The ballot papers arrive as Independent, Electoral and Boundaries Commission Chairman Wafula Chabukati ducked critical questions raised by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. DCI boss George Kinoti had on Sunday put Chabukati on the spot over his casual handling of the elections following the arrest of three foreigners with election materials. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. Senators have put 13 county governments on the spot over the misuse of taxpayers' money. In a report by the Senate's County Public Accounts and Investments Committee, the lawmakers have flagged the devolved units over suspect, irregular and unsupported expenditures. The report on the scrutiny of the Auditor General's report for the county executives was tabled in the Senate and endorsed by the House. Supreme Court judges will be under an no obligation to review judgments and decisions of judges sacked on disciplinary grounds. This follows the enactment of a law that deletes the provision that required the Apex Court to review the judgments and decisions of such judges. The Supreme Court Amendment Act 2022 now removes from the Apex Court the responsibility of reviewing the decisions of the sacked judges. In a grand entrance, preceded by his legacy in neo soul music more than his teacher, Anthony Hamilton arrived in Nairobi's Sankara Hotel on Tuesday. The 51-year-old American is in Kenya for a grand performance at the Stanby K2 Festival on Friday, July 30 at Carnival Grounds. It is the second time the American musician is in the country to perform, the first time being in 2013. Muslim clerics want Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha sacked for allegedly dismissing a young hijab-wearing journalist as an Al-Shabaab parent. Magoha is said to have made the remarks two weeks ago when addressing reporters after laying a foundation stone for the second phase of CBC junior classrooms in Nairobi. The young female NTV reporter had interrupted the minister to pose a question, making him stray into the outburst. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.